So we're only a few days away from the World's Strongest Man 2023, and this week has been a big week for former World's Strongest Men. Yes. So we're talking Brian Shaw and Hafter Bjornsson. Hafter Bjornsson had his own meet, and he ended up tearing a pec muscle, we think. And Brian Shaw has only released a short series for his road to the World's Strongest Man. And the very first episode he shared was in January that he had an infection. Staph infection. Staph infection. Yeah. And everybody was kind of worried, but it was glad to see that he will be competing the World's Strongest Man this year. Yeah, so it was a, a, a nasty infection, apparently. Yeah. And from what I understand, uh, he said in the videos he tried to treat himself yeah. with uh, antibiotics uh, at home, but it didn't work, so he had to go to the hospital. And he stayed there, I think, six or seven days. Yeah, so we all know that this is going to be Brian Shaw's last World's Strongest Man. He said yeah. it a number of times. Uh, Shaw Classic might even be his last professional event. We don't know. We don't know. We yeah. don't know. Hopefully, he'll be able maybe to compete in Shaw Classic for a couple of more years at least. And he might go into the Masters later on, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, if he, he's willing, but I like, I don't know, he, if he can even stick with his Shaw Classic for like three or four years, that would be unbelievable. Yeah. It's only one one competition a year, and I think he's still kind of relatively injury free, so he can sort of uh, probably get ready for one big competition a year. And uh, I don't know, is he moving to a bigger, even bigger arena? Probably Pro not. Maybe not, but, but he'll probably, he, yeah. it is going to grow exponentially, I think, yeah. in the next couple of so years. So even if he can like sorted out the streaming thing yeah the and streaming yeah is one of the bigger problems yeah that he has. yeah so if you can get that going i think it'll, it's going to be even better and uh, it'll grow even bigger for him in a video that we made a couple of weeks ago we talked about hafter bjornsson and the record that he's going for in december we both said as long as he stayed injury free yeah it could have been possible that he might get close to the record yeah my biggest doubt was 500 squats yeah you know that's where i was like uh, i think he needs more time to get ready for that like kind of weight massive squat yeah so it's it's like even like uh, if you can squat 460 and then extra 40 kilos to get to 500 just like i, I, it's I know an elusive number yeah like kilos. i don't think that people realizing what it is like 500 kilos it's like some people they think like oh just like everybody's pretty much especially strongman can do that like you know but it's such a big massive number and especially is like on the bar like it's when you carry a yoke on a thicker uh sort of a bar like an axle bar. yeah an yeah. axle bar it's not it's not as bad but like on a normal lifting bar eats it's, into the skin yeah it just yeah. really sinks into the body into your spine and it's just it's such a hard thing to do like like i don't know like uh, I, I don't think that people realizing what weight it is like half a ton is so much of weight to be squatting like especially when you need to hit like the the depth like you know that's where like the whole the whole uh sort of um, challenge comes into play uh, like you know and uh, a lot of guys were very optimistic but like i uh, like we said in the yeah. video he i like we said he needs more time yeah his last his last personal record that he hit was back in 2018 mm -hmm. like that's five years ago he was conditioned his body was conditioned off He's, the back of winning world yes Service, man yeah and uh, like i think uh, again uh, i don't know i i don't want to say that we were right but we kind of were right like yeah you know? like the biggest thing like we said is that like it's a lot of strain yeah on the body yeah in less than a year like he was it's like he was saying he's only off the back of a two-year boxing yeah. career where he was his biggest thing was getting weight yeah like losing all the weight yeah. to try to keep the muscle but and and he, and he's not getting younger that's the thing yeah. he's not getting younger so it's 33 34 he, 34 yeah like you know like like after 30 guys after 30 your body <laughs> i know that i experienced that a lot of people yeah. experience that like you know and as much as thor is a freak of nature yeah. he is but like he's still human being and i think like you were saying we were saying this earlier on this proves that he is human. Like, yes, you know, like it, no matter how superhuman yeah. you can be, you're still human. At you're the still end of the human day. being, and like even with uh, with Brian and his infection, staff infection was like you know he's like and he's relatively healthy, but then just something triggers, something happens in your body, it can just go really downhill fast. Tor's plan was to squat what 445. Yeah. he didn't hit the depth. Yeah. And that's where the like that's the, the that's the biggest he got like three red lights you know yeah. and he tore his pack on 250 was yeah it? 250 i think 250 yeah. kg yeah and again like he's he's a uh, he's left-sided guy so he has bell's pause on his right side and he's probably like uh 
left side is so much stronger and gets a bit more strain you like you the you, stiffness and yeah muscle, you like yeah. you you pivot towards your dominant side anyway and that's where the, the injury occurred which is like again it's not really su- surprising like you know i had the same problems i uh, every side i, I, I always arm yes from arm wrestling i tore my biceps i uh, tore my hamstring in my right side i tore my quad in my right side their lattice tight. yeah i i uh, as well i um damage a little bit my pack on the right side it's all right side because it's such a dominant uh, side. side and your just brain and your body literally pivots towards that stronger side which yeah. is just a natural thing and for thor that was natural thing where like his his right side is like he has that bell's posy so he's probably he's not as strong so he just shifted a little bit to his left and bang yeah you know so we don't know yeah what's the what the, what, the, what the actual official yeah. prognosis of it is. Yeah, like, so... so uh, like we're saying, there's no actual official prognosis yeah. of what actually happened. There's no video has been released talking no. what, it, what it is. Uh, Brain Suter MD YouTube channel has done a very good video mm-hmm. on it. We watched it ourselves. Yeah. Like he goes into the very nitty gritty part of how the actual muscle works yeah. and what he thinks possibly happened. Yeah. Like he goes in, in depth into the video, yeah. the elevation of the pec once the, once the muscle mm-hmm. tore ruptured whatever you want to call it uh, i think it's like from what he 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 speculates again because until you get the mri done you don't know what's the actual damage is the muscle damage and um so he thinks that it was a tendon damage you that the tendon that connects here to the like where the biceps tendon goes over and it's like in u4 uh, u-shaped form and it probably if it snapped there actually a tendon snap it's better than just a muscle yeah muscle takes a lot yeah longer to like a lot to heal and like it's it's so much more difficult to restore that muscle and like you i don't know if like with surgery i don't think that you can sort of do that yeah. i said it before i said it again i i know like i always uh dishing uh flat uh bench press yeah you, I, you I, don't like flat i bench. don't i don't like it i always try to avoid it it's a bro lift probably yeah probably i have a i don't know bad technique but i yeah. know it never felt good to me it's like yeah everything overhead feels natural yeah because it feels like you're doing something that realistically makes sense. yeah yeah, yeah just you know like that flat bench press is like for to get the a pump in uh, yeah, yeah. I, i'm okay with that like <laughs> I, I do that but i always try to incline yeah incline and i don't max out yeah yeah i i just max out on overhead lifts like it's a lot of strain on yeah. like such a small area of like say like your tendon to your shoulder yeah like it's it a, just a like your tendon. technique has to be flawless when it comes to like uh going for one max uh one rep max. yeah one rep max so i i i, I don't like it yeah. i don't like it and uh i hope that tor will get it will uh, the tor surgery will will be very successful and I think even with that uh, surgery, so the, the, uh, that guy uh, on YouTube, Brian, doctor, Suter. Brian Suter, said it like it will take about over a half a year to get the rehab in yeah. and get back to sort of uh, where he used to be. And I think it won't gonna bother him that much if he no. decides to go back into strongman. Like yeah. say for to rehab properly, you're talking what October, November yeah. time. Like, and he's not actually competing until Arnold's, which would be following May, March, which is literally eleven months away. It, yeah it might be enough yeah might be enough to get ready but again like maybe it's a great idea take a year yeah to get ready for your next competition instead, instead of, of again yeah rushing rushing yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like uh it's such a shame it's such a shame because a lot of people were so excited to see him compete yeah. next year in uh, uh world strongest man and arnold classic and uh, rogue invitationals but it seems like uh it's not meant to be it's like if you were saying there let us know in the comment section down below like do you think that you will return to strongman in the future do you think you'll take a year out or will he go for arnold's next march it's a massive task for him to try to do in less than a year especially with the rehab and stuff like that after surgery uh comment down below we always get back to the comments we love seeing the comments and most importantly uh subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel you aren't subscribed would you please press the subscribe button and if you are subscribed make sure to press the bell icon it'll keep you up to date with everything the slalice brothers we have a big week coming next week for world's strongest man uh so stay tuned for that but like always we'll see you in the next video see you later guys